Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Expert on the Microphone series, Hydration with Heart segment brought to you by Once Upon a Coconut, we're featuring my good friend, Tal Navarro. She's a serial entrepreneur, an international speaker, host, philanthropist, advisor, and investor. She's also the founder and CEO of Social Lady Marketing Agency and the creator of AI Vibes, which is an omni-channel media company focusing on the artificial intelligence culture. She's one of the leading marketing and Web3 experts worldwide. She joins me today to chat all about artificial intelligence, the gender gap disparity, and whose jobs are the robots coming for? From career, planning, and time management, AI seems to be making waves across many sectors. Some reactions include fear, while others echo excitement. One thing is for certain, artificial intelligence is here to stay for better or worse till death do us part. Humanity is in for one wild robotic ride. Here to chat how AI will save us or break us is expert Tal Navarro. Welcome to the show, Stunner. Hey, how are you? So good to be here again. <laughs> so good to have you back on. I'm so excited every time I get to chat with you because you are a plethora of knowledge and quite the expert. So Tal, could you share with us some examples of how artificial intelligence is currently revolutionizing various industries? Of course. So, you know, it's it's truly fascinating to observe how AI is being integrated into a fabric of industries. For example, if we're talking about AI and healthcare, so AI is revolutionizing the healthcare in a way that it's enhancing diagnostic accuracy and it's generating personal um, treatment plans and it's creating um, a current um, a, a patient outcome so accurate that you can never you never witnessed that um, before. And for example, the algorithm is enable us to create and explain a, a picture of x-ray or MRI, which doctors could not uh, find by themselves. It's like mind blowing. So this is only in the health section where we're talking about the financial, um, the finance, okay? When we talk about the finance, you are able now to create chatbots who are giving an, an accuracy and exactly the financial results that you need. You know, a lot of times we get chatbots that personalize your financial advice and they're making financial uh, individuals uh, much, much more accurate and much more uh, understanding what they need. But it's also helping detecting fraud that it's so it's so broad today and at risk management and create so many other benefits for the financial sector. The sector. Now, there are so many other sectors like. Uh, agriculture, where it creates, uh, it takes a lot of the data and it analyzes it and enable you to to know when you need to water your plants or when when do you need to cut, you know, the bushes or whatever it is in the agricultural uh, world. When it seems, about it seems to be doing a lot and, and not just everything that you just mentioned, which were great points, but according to studies by T PwC, artificial intelligence is expected to contribute up to close to 16 trillion dollars to the global economy by the year Absolutely. 2030. So as a leading marketing expert, how do you see AI impacting the future of marketing and consumer behavior? Because when you look at data from Salesforce, it suggests that 64% of marketers believe that artificial intelligence is essential to their overall marketing strategy. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. For sure. You know, AI is not going to transform completely marketing. It's going to fundamentally reshape the way that brands are connecting with consumers. And it's going to offer a massive of unique personalization and efficiency, much more to a person who is trying to build a strategy by himself. Rather than, rather than that, he should use AI. There's so many AI tools. And there's so many AI um, um, things that change with the years and coming into place right now. For example, personalization and upscale are a game. You know, now in, uh, brands are, are able to analyze their customers' behavior and customers' preferences in real time and not waiting for analyzing. Sometimes analyzing takes months, but now with an AI, uh, the AI technology enable you to take all this information and data in just a few seconds and implement that in a, in, a cur in, in the best 
strategy for your marketing needs. Also, you can uh, now build different uh, customer, like kind of a, a conversation mapping. So you are able to create who is, where do you start your journey as a client? Where do you end your journey as a client? And you get all the journey uh, under one wing. You get much more detailed, much more identified key touch points and opportunities for engagement. And marketing now is much more essential when it comes to insights to improve customer sales funnels and make it more efficiency. It reduces frictions and it's improving conversation rates. It's doing so many amazing things just by utilizing the tools correctly. It also can enable you, it also enables you to enhance content creation. Okay. Would you know a lot of people are struggling with creating content for social media, for the websites, for uh, blogging, for whatever they are using. But now AI has enabled you to create engaging content that is relevant exactly to your customers. And it's crafted to email, to websites, to articles creation, to um, Instagram captions, to YouTube scripts, to TikTok videos, ideas, to so many other things that you could not execute before in such an easy way. And not the, only the that, possi the possibilities, if you look at it from endless. Are, are, are endless. And now I'm going to shift the narrative just a little bit so we can be mindful of the time. But despite sure. you just mapped out such incredible ways to look forward to artificial intelligent, intelligence and its many use cases. But despite the many ways in which women like yourself have advanced artificial intelligence technology, we make up a tiny sliver of the global AI workforce. And according to a 2021 Stanford study, just 16% of tenure track faculty focused on AI are women. The, the rest are men. And in a separate study released the same year by the World Economic Forum, the co-authors find that women only hold 26% of analytics related and AI positions. Now that said, the gender gap in AI is widening, not narrowing. Nesta, which is the UK's innovation agency for social good, conducted a 2019 analysis that concluded that the proportion of AI academic papers co-authored by at least one woman hadn't improved since the 1990s, Tao. So we are still behind. Now, you focus on bridging the gender gap in all the work that you do with all the companies that you have. You are a major advocate of female empowerment. How do you believe artificial intelligence can play a role in promoting diversity and inclusion? So AI can play a significant role in promoting diversity and inclusion by making sure that everyone gets a fair chance. And I think that the more time goes, the more we see that happens. Um, I know that we have still very big gap to breach, but we, I think that people are more aware of that and it, it's starting to, you're starting to see it. First thing, you know, uh, for example, when people are going to start hire people, they're going to utilize the AI. And when you are bringing AI into hiring sector, the AI can look at job applications without the usual bias that humans might have, like focusing on only on their skills, on their experiences, on the and everything that is matter it doesn't matter what gender they are what language they speak or i mean you know it doesn't matter where they're coming from or how they look like it's more about what they know what skills they have and who they are so this is the one thing that ai can really uh, breach uh, breach the gap in this also more and more women are coming and stepping up into the space i see that more the more i am bringing content out the more i'm creating more awareness the more I am uh, speaking in, and I'm speaking a lot on conferences, on online, on my channels, on uh, many platforms, I am able to open the door to other women to come in. And the more women will do that, the more women will step in and understand that they need to try to, to play with it, to play with the tools, to play with the idea of the AI revolution, to understand what to do with those tools. Even if it's one tool, I don't say to learn everything. Take one tool and utilize it. Play with AI. Understand the idea. Understand what is it about. And when a woman does that, it opens doors to an other more and more women. And that's what I am here for. I'm here for showing the example and, and bringing the courage and the empowerment to women to be able to step up, to speak, to learn, to try it out. Because we need more women in the space. We always need more women around us. I, I know that 
I'm a big advocate of women for years on many industries, on many sectors, but this one is the future. And the more women will step in, the better. So and that's, and it's to, to really piggyback important. off of to piggyback off of what you're saying and you are 100% right but women are also more likely than men to consider societal and ethical and political implications in their work on artificial on AI right and also when you look at the bigger picture we have actual studies that show that gender diversity specifically in leadership positions it positively correlates with financial performance with companies in the top quartile for gender diversity being 15% more likely to have financial returns above the respective national industry medians, right? So only to your point, true advocacy for gender diversity in tech, coupled with artificial intelligence driven initiatives for unbiased recruitment to your point and promotion practices, only that is going to demonstrate a promising path towards a more inclusive future, which brings me to my next question. So with the rapid advancement of AI technologies, there are concerns about job displacement. Okay. So how can individuals tell prepare for the changing job market and what roles do you foresee AI impacting the most? Well, in my view, the concern over AI leading for job displacement, the, uh, d uh, displacement it's, it's valid, right? It, it is scary. And it, it, the, but, you know, a lot of time it's more fear than opportunity. And people need to understand that, yes, AI is, you know, it's rapidly grow, growing and we are here, to, it's here to stay and we are here to learn more about that. But the idea is to under, that the people need to understand that at the end of the day, it's not about, um, the robots were changing us. It's about how good you're going to be by ex executing and learning about AI. Because the people who are going to conquer this field or the world actually are going to be the people who understand that AI is part of our lives. AI is here to stay. It's not replacing all of us. And by the way, by the way, it is going to replace some of the jobs, but not all of them. What it is going to do it's going to open new opportunities. It's going to open new job descriptions and new things that people are going to be able to do. So if you have a doctor, so a doctor who understands AI and knows how to utilize it will be a much better doctor and much more faster and, and much more efficient doctor than one who doesn't understand it. The same goes to a lawyer, to um, a social media manager, to anyone, will any yeah. job in the world. Right. And, and, and you know, it, it's... It's true, it might, the, the, the most important thing is to understand that when you combine the human skills and talent with the tech and the algorithm of uh, the, the AI, you are able to create magics. I love what you're saying. And you are 100% right on the money. My girl, Tal, AI and automation are expected to displace, listen to this statistic, they're, they're expected to displace 85 million jobs by 2025, but but simultaneously create 97 million new roles. So the importance of upskilling and reskilling, coupled with what you just said, humans' actual analysis of AI's impact on all these various industries that we talked about is the valuable guidance for people to navigate the evolving job market because that is where, to your point, they will flourish and bring AI into their workforce to help them become quicker and more efficient and effective at what they do. Now, uh, my last question, we have about a minute left, is we know really? that- Really? I want to talk to you for hours. What do you mean a minute? <laughs> I, I, we could go into extended and for sure we will because we're both passionate about this. But mm -hmm. the, the recent surveys, and I'm all about statistics, right? They indicate that 82% of Americans are concerned about the ethical implications of artificial intelligence, particularly regarding issues such as privacy and bias and job displacement. So, Tao, how do you envision the ethical considerations surrounding AI evolving in the coming years and what measures should be taken to ensure responsible AI development and deployment? So it's true, as we dive deeper into the AI world, uh, we rely on crossroads uh, when it comes to ethical side of things. And I think how to handle it is there are a few ways that we can handle it in the future and in, in the present already. One of them is making rules. I think every company, every organization and the governments 
um, need to work together to make rules that guide how AI can make um, can be should be made and be used in their in, in, in their company or in their uh, population in order to be fair and safe for everyone. Um, I think also that uh, we need to watch closer and make sure that people are following the rules and also to see what the involvement and the growth and the, and the changes that the AI is bringing into our door. Because every day there is a new change. Every day there is something new that is popping up. Also, we need to talk about that. The more we bring out the problems or the issues or the concerns, the more we might find solutions. And I think that the more people are having conversations about it, there are less fear and they're more know how to deal with things and how to face the new reality. Also, another important thing is to learn and to understand those tools and those, it's not just tools, it's about how the tech works, how the AI world, world actually started, where it is today, and where we are going to, because this is going to be a mind-blowing change for someone who doesn't understand anything to learn and when when you learn something you less scare about it and you will might have also more solutions from yourself uh to to the problems that it's it creates and i can tell you that on on ai vibes we host events and we do gatherings and we do a lot of conferences that teach and bring a lot of information and a lot of uh big people uh, um, uh, 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 thought leaders i'm sorry that are uh, very much involved in the industry and are sharing their two cents in different panels and different conversations that we have. And you get to know more people, more results, more uh, concerns like yourself, like people who have, not, not you, but people around have concerns. And you are able to speak about it and to bring results and to hear how other people bring more um, more um, um, results to it, like more um, ideas on how to execute it, actually. So... It is very important to uh, to discuss this, to learn about it, to 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 be involved in this, and and to be always with your hand on the pulse because it's changing all the time. Well, that's exactly where your finger seems to be right on the pulse, my darling. Thank you so much for doing the work that you do, for being a trailblazer, not just for women, but for for everybody, for companies and brands in the space looking to get into Web3, artificial intelligence and the technology that you understand so very well and eloquently put. I can't thank you enough for coming on and being my expert today. It's my pleasure. And you know, AI is going to become bigger and bigger. It's going to change the world. And I really recommend everyone to take a step and to try today even one tool or one methodology or just to learn more about it, to watch one YouTube video or to, you know, to come to learn. I am teaching this. A lot of people are teaching this. There are so many uh, things out there about it. So don't stay behind. And I really, really um remind everyone that if you are going to step in today, you're going to be ahead of so many other people in, in the world. So good luck to everyone with that. There you Thank go. you for having me, girl. It's fun to be here. I am so excited that I had you on as the second time now, and that's we're just going to continue to have you on. But you are right. Mm -hmm. Advocacy for responsible innovation is very much needed to shed light on the importance of collaborative efforts between the policymakers, the technologists, and ethicists to establish guidelines that prioritize societal well-being. And those guidelines and regulations are extremely critical. So thank you for putting that into perspective. Tal, we will see you on our next Expert on the Microphone series. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. That was our Hydration with Heart segment, Expert on the Microphone, brought to you by Once Upon a Coconut. That was the awesome Tal Navarro. Tal has worked with thousands of all-sized businesses, organizations, and entrepreneurs. She helps them drive client growth. She increases sales and unlocks new opportunities by building online presence foundation, captivating these narratives that we just talked about, and building content pillars and creating their content marketing strategies. What she does is extremely unique, and I am so proud to call her my friend. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York, iHeartRadio. Head to AIVibes.ai or you can check her out on the gram at Tal Navarro number one. Check out her company, social-lady.com. We'll be right back after this. 
A moment of zen is brought to you by Once Upon a Coconut, 100% pure coconut water. Imagine a drink that's nutrient rich, powerfully refreshing, naturally sweet with no added sugars, not from concentrate, zero additives, low in calories, absolutely no artificial flavors, and is so tasty that it will become your new favorite beverage. Enter Once Upon a Coconut, the absolute best tasting coconut water you will ever try. Available in four refreshing flavors, pure, chocolate, pineapple, and sparkling with energy. Do your taste buds a favor and pick up some today at onceuponacoconut.com.